My first memory of elephants, I don't necessarily have a conscious memory of, but my mother always talks about taking me to the zoos when we were younger, and so this uh, probably would have been around the time that I was three or four, and she said that she would always wheel me around to where the elephants were, and as soon as we were in front of the elephant's pen, I was instantly happier and more engaged. And so when my mom would try to take me away to see the other animals at the zoo, I would instantly become a little bit less happy and maybe cry or complain. And for some reason, just always had this sort of pull towards the elephants. Gifts from my grandmothers and my mother, my parents, always involved elephants, whether it was t-shirts or books or little trinkets. Um, I had two different elephant necklaces from each of my grandmothers that I wore all the time. And so the elephants really became part of my material culture and felt as though I was surrounded by them even though I wasn't growing up anywhere near to Asia or Africa. I'm interested in using art as a creative intervention for problems involving environmental justice and social justice because art has such a powerful communicative property, not just for the artist or the maker, but for the audience that's able to approach that work and gain a new perspective about something that's going on in the world or maybe something that's just going on in that artist's head. And so the idea that art can be made out of practically nothing, it can be made out of trash, it can be made out of the scraps of paper you have, it can be made out of wood, anything, everything is art. And so the idea that communities can be trained through other artists uh, in their communities or perhaps outside artists like myself to get together and work on a certain issue and come up with a visual format that expresses all of these different ideas and allow people to think through that. And so as someone that is interested in art and also anthropology and conservation and elephants and a hundred thousand other little things that are all interconnected, I am looking forward to continuing to using my art for conservation and I would love to continue doing work in Thailand and working on issues with tourism and illegal logging, but I'm also um, really perplexed by what is going on in Indonesia with human elephant conflict, which is also a major problem in countries all over Africa, which is also of course home to most of the major ivory trade and poaching and everything. And so as someone that loves to be around elephants and loves to travel and loves to eat noodles, I definitely see myself uh, winding up in Thailand, uh, Myanmar, Indonesia, and just being able to really uh, work with all different communities and help them think about their relationships with elephants and learn from them and use that to think about all of these different interspecies relationships across the globe.